Hey Scrappers, it's Vanessa here with a layout for International Scrapbook Day with Confessions of a Paper Addict. And I am using the one of the free cut files that Virginia put in the Facebook group. There is four of them that you can go and grab for free for International Scrapbook Day. And so I am using this one here that says Scrap Your Heart Out. And I've gone ahead and cut it out. And I'm going to use those pattern papers that you see to fill in the words of my cut file. And so um, if you didn't catch it at the beginning of the video, I also put the sale that's happening in the Etsy shop. So be sure to hit the link down below and grab yourself some cut files while they're on sale. There is a great uh, International Scrapbook Day sale that's happening this weekend. So this video is going up Friday. So for me, it's not quite Saturday, but in New Zealand it is. So happy International Scrapbook Day to everyone. And like I said, grab the free cut files and the sale in the store. And with that, I am going to first start my background. I'm going to build some color on my white cardstock and I'm going to use the Distress Oxide inks that I showed at the beginning of the video. So I have, I want to say this is Fossilized Amber, I think is the color. And then I have Evergreen Bow and Worn Lipstick. I think are the three colors. You might be able to see them a little bit better and I did show them at the beginning as well. But I am just going to do sort of three blotches of these colors because I want to just add something to the background so it's not just a white cardstock and because if I don't add something to the background the cut file you're not really going to see it really well if I don't add a little bit of color. So that's all I'm going to do here. I am trying not to add a ton of water. I do end up putting quite a bit of water on this paper. However, it is a thicker, um, this is I think a Vicki Booten, um, one of her white cardstock pieces. So it can take a little bit of water and it actually doesn't warp that much at all as you can see. Um, I did go ahead and I've matted. I have a black piece of cardstock and then a yellow pattern paper and then my white background. So I've gone ahead and matted all three of those and I built my background of my cut file, which I did add a wood grain to the heart so that it kind of stood out because before it was kind of just really fading into the background. You couldn't really see it. The other thing I did do off camera was I took my photos and I did back those. I am actually using my How to Kill a Kit with Style from April to um, build this page. So this was a page kit that I had left over from my kit and so I pulled it out to use for this. And this layout I, is very comes together really quickly because basically I've matted my photos and then I'm adding a few embellishments that you see me kind of playing with here on the page and that's going to pretty much be it for this page. I kept it super simple just because I wanted to kind of show off that beautiful cut file, keep it really simple. And the photos in this one is really just showcasing some of my layouts that I've loved from some recent projects that I've done. And so that is, it's really just a way to document International Scrapbook Day and put it in an album that will kind of just be all about me and the things that I love. And so I am just playing with a few bits and pieces. I have the Simple Stories, the Crafty collection that they just came out with. I didn't buy any of the papers for it, for it. I only bought the puffy stickers and then I think the embellishment pack um, and that's about it. So I kind of pulled pieces from that because it obviously coordinates with the Scrap Your Heart Out cup file. And so that's what you see me playing with. All of the uh, ephemera pieces and then a few puffy stickers made it to this page. And then I'm going to finish it up here with just some enamel dots. I am working my way through my enamel dots and so I am just going to add a few on to this page in basically the two embellishment clusters that I kind of have going on this page. I guess you could call this kind of a diagonal uh, embellishing design that I have going on 
And so with that, you're going to see me kind of place down the rest of these enameled dots. And I really, this layout came together so quickly that this video is not sped up hardly at all. <laughs> So I'm really actually even slower than this and I feel like this is already slow. So that's it. That's going to complete this layout. Here are the still photos. Be sure to join the Facebook group if you're not already a part of it. There are several design team members that are going to go live today. Um, and so be sure to go over and check them out. And with that, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.